I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The failed plan that Jesus uses to save you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. He's over there eating. Get the app. Amazon, Google, iTunes, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a-rolling. We need your giving in these dark times. The Sunday's Gospel provides for us one of the greatest. I don't know if it's ironic or if it's... um. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful text. Luke 16, um, we're going to look at 31, but uh, the preface to it is, well, this is the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. We all know this parable. Uh, there are two men, um, an unnamed rich man and a guy that Jesus tells a story about who just happens to have a name of his, his good buddy, Lazarus. Um, the rich man has parties and parties like it's 1999. That's a Prince song. Um, but, and the poor man sits at his gate, hoping for crumbs that fall from his master's table. They both die. The rich man goes to Hades, hell, the heat. The poor man goes uh, to the bosom of Abraham, to paradise. The rich man in Hades, well, hello, buddy. The rich man in Hades uh, calls out, sees Lazarus and, and Abraham and calls out to him, send Lazarus. Notice that he still thinks that Lazarus is nothing but, and nothing that he should be ordering around. Send Lazarus to dip his finger in the water and come and drip it on my tongue because of the heat. Can't do it, says Father Abraham. There's a chasm between us that would prohibit us from doing exactly what you say. Um, besides, um, you had good in life. Lazarus had bad in life. Um, now you suffer and Lazarus has peace. Well, then send him back from the dead, says the rich guy. Send Lazarus back from the dead because I have five brothers and they need to hear this gospel. Father Abraham says, they have the law and the prophets. They have the Old Testament. The law, Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Leviticus, it's in there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I know the order of the books. I'm, it just, just goes on the spot. There you go, buddy. They have the law, the law of Moses, and the prophets the rest of the Old Testament. And the Psalms are in there too, because, you know, part for the whole and all. It says, if somebody comes back from the dead, they will believe. And then our text. And he said, if uh, they will not hear Moses and the prophets, um, neither will they uh, be convinced, persuaded by someone coming back out of the dead, verse 31 of chapter 16. So he says, you have the Old Testament. Everything you need is in the word of God, the, the Old Testament. Everything you need for life and salvation is there. You can see it. You can see Jesus in the Old Testament. He fills the Old Testament. He's the center of Old, the Old Testament. How to read the Old Testament video there. But what does God do? He does the very plan that he said he didn't have to do, that he said wouldn't work. He tries, he does the failed plan of sending Lazarus back from the dead, but better than that, sending his son back from the dead who lived his life for us and died our death. God does something that he says will absolutely fail. And he does that absolute failure to save us. 
Jesus dies for us, living the life we should live, dying the death we deserve. And Jesus rises from the dead and so wins salvation for us. So the thing that God says he doesn't have to do, the thing he says won't work is the thing that he does in order to save you. I think that's the best part of this parable. This parable is not about class warfare, rich people going up, uh, down, and poor people going up. This is about the God who does what he, what over and above what he needs to do. They have Moses and the prophets, that's enough, in order to save us. And in Jesus, he has done just that. Saved sinners, beggars, like Lazarus, like Luther, like you and me. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Hey, buddy, you want this? Yeah. And Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.